This is VGT, Vanguard Information Technology ETF. And we are here on the finviz.com website uh, looking at this. And this is a, a great ETF. Uh, I own uh, shares in this ETF. Uh, uh, some, some, you can buy partial shares as well. Uh, this is, I think, a, a very good ETF. And it has low fees. There's the expense ratio. Oops, there's an ad. Finviz is a great website, but it has ads on it. Um, you can get a premium version, by the way, and I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out, but that way you can get rid of the ads and it gives you extra features. But there's the expense ratio, very, very low. And let's look at more stuff here surrounding this. So let's go to Yahoo Finance right here. And so here you see the price. Wow, right up 2.07%. If you go to holdings, here's what it holds. This is what I wanted to show you. Here's the biggest holdings. So Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA. So Microsoft, 20.53% is Microsoft, 20.21% is Apple. So if these stocks rally, this is going to participate in the growth of these two companies. So over 40% is in two companies. That's very, very concentrated. And that's good if you're bullish on these companies. So that, you know, that is the question. Are you bullish on these companies? Do you think that these, these are good companies? Do you think Microsoft is a good company, right? Those are, I think, the questions that people need to ask themselves whenever they're looking at funds. Uh, and you know, always make your own decisions. Just because I like this doesn't mean you should buy it, right? Always make your own investing decisions. You need to have your own reasons for owning things, otherwise you're gonna sell when things get hard. You know, it'll go down, you'll panic sell. So you need, you need to have good reasons for owning your investments um, if, you're, if you're trying to invest, if, that, if that's what you're trying to do. If you're trying to trade, that's, that's a different ball game. But in this video, uh, I'm, I'm talking about BGT, uh, as more so as an investment. I mean, you could trade it. If you look at the chart, it is completely out of control. I mean, it's doing really well. So it beat its it beat its old school 2021 highs. There's a lot of um, a lot of companies um, topped out uh, during this era, and many of them have not surpassed that peak. Um, so I think that this is an example of strong companies surpassing that peak because this ETF owns. Uh, some very, very big companies. And so as a group, they have succeeded, right? They, they broke those highs. If we look at the chart on stock charts, you can see here that it is also uh, in an uptrend. Um, yeah, and this reminds me, this, this market that we're in now, so I'm speaking uh, for today. So if you're watching this video uh, six months from now, then this won't apply to you. But uh, and you'll know if I was wrong or if I was right, um, so that'll be fun. You know, I can I can see if I'm I'm wrong, but I am very bullish right now on the markets. I feel like um, it reminds me very much of the behavior I saw uh, during the 2013 bull market, which I believe was the biggest year we've had this century for United States stocks. Um, I mean, the SPY went up more that year than any other year in the entire century uh, that we live in. So. Yeah, and that was a very bullish year. The market just kept going up. And that's what's happening this year, it seems. Um, you know, markets do things until they until they don't. And we as humans, all we have uh, are emotions and we have the knowledge in front of us. All I can see here is what it's already done in the past, uh, what stocks it holds, right? How much it costs. Yeah, you can buy this at any brokerage. How much it's gone up so far this year, right? So you can see those facts. Uh, here, the volume, the inception date, that's the first day it was available to trade, the previous close, the open, etc. So you can see things like that, but you can't predict the future. So, but based off, you know, the market activity this year, I do feel like um, things are going really well. Hopefully things continue to go well. So yeah, in any case, uh, I just wanted to make you aware of this excellent uh, ETF and as always make your own buying decisions. Good luck.